guys, it is chilly outside, but I really wanted to make a video for you outside in Nebraska because this is my last month in this state and it's also my last month at work. I'm very sad to leave. I worked at this job for more than four years, almost five years, and now I, I'm kind of leaving the state where I, I reside and I'm leaving my job and it's like a big change for me. Uh, so I just wanted to share with you my journey. When I moved to the United States, I moved to Lincoln, Nebraska, and I worked as a dental assistant for one year, but I really wanted to practice as a dentist. And um, it was a great experience in orthodontic office, and also they get paid well. So they kind of get a little bit better salary than uh, usually than dental assistant. So anyway, I decided to go to UNMC and ask them to talk to them what are the options for me to obtain my license. They didn't have any program for foreign trained dentists. All they had, and they have now the traditional four year program, but now they have this uh, program for foreign trained dentists, but that's another story. So at that time they didn't, and they advised me if I want to stay in Nebraska, I have to um, have the same pre-dental prerequisites and uh, in order to match them I have to go to university and take some classes and then apply as a traditional dental student for a four-year program. Or the other option was for me to leave Nebraska and uh, apply to the foreign dental programs like, like I did now. But at that time I couldn't leave Nebraska, so I chose to stay. In the meantime, I had to work because I wanted to stay in dentistry. I needed to continue my dental experience. And I found a job in a very interesting office or a facial pain. They, they perform a lot of like temporomandibular joint treatment and um, they do some splints, some appliances, and they treat orofacial pain. And uh, they do some braces cases, which uh, might be like uh, related to that. And I worked there as a dental assistant for two months, and then I heard that they are looking for the dental uh, technician. They had like the position open. They had a small lab, and they wanted to expand it, and uh, they needed the uh, dental technician to be able to make the appliances. And uh, it was kind of quite not easy to find for them, especially in Nebraska, who can make this temporomandibular joint appliances, so I thought I had a great chance to offer them my, like, my service. And I had good wire bending skills, and I knew how to work with acrylic, and I kind of understood what's going on, and I thought like, I'll be good in that. And they agreed, they hired me, and my life changed so dramatically, I work, I work, this is my last, my last month, like one or two days per week. My salary is, is great. And I can literally like adjust my schedule. I can come as long as the due dates, like the appliance is due tomorrow and it is done today, I'm good. Obviously, I, I don't want like to, I, I'm nice. I don't want like to um, take advantage of this. I never did, but it was a great schedule and I'm very grateful for that. And uh, I'll, I'll try to insert here the kind of the appliances that I do, so you understand more about my job. But uh, let me know if you have any questions. And now I'm, I'm moving, I'm leaving Nebraska. Like two years ago, I think they opened the program in the UNMC. And that's why I decided to apply this cycle, because I found out that now College of Dentistry in Nebraska has a program for foreign trained dentists. But I didn't get in there, Nebraska rejected me. So, but uh, I got accepted to Southern Illinois University uh, College of Dentistry in Alton, which I'm very happy and excited about. But I have to move and I have to leave the place where I was like for the last eight years. And it's very sad for me to leave my job, my family, and to leave the state. Anyway, let me know if you have any questions. I'll answer in comments and I can make another video if you have some questions that uh, require a long answer. See you soon guys, bye!